Portrait editing tools. I'm going to use the iPhone to start with on this one. And this is fun. So I open Google Photos. And I, I have a couple pictures that I've marked as favorites. Yeah, so here's that one of Jim with the steak. Okay, here's a picture of Jim with a steak. And his, his face is kind of dark, isn't it? And it could just be more of a portrait. I tap the edit button, editing tools. And there's portrait right there. But notice, notice this little, can you tell that that's a one? It's a multicolored one. And that means that this feature is only available to you if you are a Google One subscriber. What is Google One? That is your storage. So if you are paying something, if you are not just getting by with the 15 gigabytes of free storage, you have to pay for it. That makes you a Google One subscriber. And then you get these extra editing tools. So portrait, I just tap it and notice that it, it kind of darkened the edges and it brightened inside a little bit. Let me just tap that off, back on. See how it turns blue when it's on? Off, on. Okay, but there's more. If you go over to adjustments, you now have portrait light. This is, this is pretty cool. I tap on portrait light and I want to make it as bright as possible. So I'm going to move the slider all the way up to 100. And now you have this little circle. Say, well, where, where do you want to pretend that the source of light is coming from? You know, the left side of his face is already too bright. So let's move the light over to the right side of his face. Can you see what it did there? Yeah. If I just move this little circle over, you can see that the light on his face is changing. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. And done. And now here's one other thing to know about these cool editing features. If you use one of those, I call them premium editing features because you have to be paying Google something to be a Google One subscriber to be able to use these. Save copy. Notice that plain save is not an option. Something about these editing tools can't be done in this normal save layer. I sure hope they figure that out because I hate making a copy and I lose whatever description I had written on the original. So if you're going to use this, just realize that and do the edits first before you do things like adding descriptions. Then you can just delete the original. So save copy. But once again, wait, there's more. <laughs> I'm going to go to the Samsung Android now just just because, because it works almost the same. Just one difference. On the iPhone, I had to choose filters as the first step. In the Android, let me find a different picture here. This picture I'm going to play with. And edit. And it's not under filters. In the Android, it's under tools. There's a whole other menu here called tools that gives me portrait light, blur, and color focus. Now, if you go to tools and you don't see those, it only shows up if you're looking at a photo that has faces in it. So it's not going to give you portrait tools unless you're looking at a picture that is a portrait. But watch this. Blur. Blur means blur the background, and it's at 25, but if I move it all the way up, look at that. So it completely blurs the background and really makes me and Gregorio, Gregorio stand out. Gregorio, her boyfriend. Yeah, I like <clears throat> Gregorio. <laughs> uh, he was 
he managed a B and B in Sicily that we stayed at. Um, okay, so I'm done with that. And now, what if I really wanted to make the background go away? I could turn the background to black and white. That's what color focus means. Color focus, and it starts out at zero, so I still have to swipe the slider. So see what? We're still in perfect color, but the background is black and white. And if I want to keep that, I have to save copy. All right, so those are the special editing, editing tools.